Hi, welcome to Las Colinas Golf and Country Club. My name is Chris Ryan, and today we're gonna to look at the three most common causes for an over-the-top downswing. Welcome to Las Colinas Golf and Country Club here in Spain. And in this video, we're going to be looking at three of the main causes that a golfer will come over the top in the downswing. So this is a term which I hear week in, week out from the golfers that I coach, and I'm sure it's a topic which is well searched on YouTube. So what do we mean by over the top? Well, over the top, we really mean is just when the golf club head moves too much out towards the golf ball too soon into the downswing. When we get a golfer swinging what we term over the top, they generally tend to have the club traveling left of target. That leftward path gives them fade, it gives them glancing strikes, it gives them slices, all of those things that we would like to try and avoid. So it's certainly something which plagues a lot of golfers. The problem is we can't simply just fix the over the top. In most cases, I would probably say nine out of 10 cases, the over the top downswing is a result of something else which has happened. It's normally due to body pivot, it's arms, it's club face. And we're gonna cover those three things in this video. So if you do feel that you come over the top, you can check these three things in your golf swing. So number one reason why a golfer would come over the top is because the club face at the top of the swing would be open. So if I went to the top and I had my lead wrist very, very extended, my trail wrist was very, very flat, that would tend to open the club face. Now, when I open the club face, that already says to me that the golf ball is going to bend to the right. If the golf ball is going to bend to the right, I probably need to try and swing the golf club across to the left to make that curve functional. So if I was to swing massively to the left of this fairway, a left to right curve may well put me into the fairway. So the over the top move in that case is actually something which is useful for that golfer. So the first thing you need to check is your wrist positions at the top. We want your lead wrist to be flat, your trail wrist to be bent, not the other way around where the lead wrist is bent and the trail wrist is flat. And you can see as I move between those two, how that changes the club face position. So number one checkpoint, ensure that your club face is not open at the top of your golfing. Number two reason that you could be swinging over the top is how you move your body in the downswing. So we are going to be talking here about side bends. This is what we term side bends. Side bend away from the target, side bend towards the target. So if I take my setter, make a backswing and hold it, this would be a downswing sequence that we would like to see. Lower body start, separates a little bit from the upper body, and that allows me to sequence my downswing. And you can see how that gets me into a pretty decent position. Notice how there was a little bit of lateral movement with our hips towards the target. All too often I will see golfers who do have this over the top move where their body motion will be such like this. So you can see how my hips went a little bit backwards. I have got some side bend, but that side bend is towards the target, not away from the target. So you can see how my hips go back, my head goes forwards. That has the effect of causing the golf club to come over the top. So if this is you, you need to be fixing what your body is doing not what the golf club is doing. The golf club is reacting to the body. So you can see how I move between those two body motions. The golf club's delivery position changes quite drastically from what we class as fairly good to a more over the top. So if you feel you're that golfer, let's feel that we start with the lower body. Let's feel as if we push our belt buckle out in front of your sternum. That's gonna help you get that trail side bend, not that lead side bend. There's our second reason why you might be coming over the top. The third reason that you might be coming over the top is to do with your trail arm rotations. Hopefully, when you get to the top of your golf swing, your trail arm has what we call externally rotated. That's how we get this right arm to fold nicely as we get to the top. If I was to take this trail arm and maintain its external rotation down towards delivery point, I should get a golf club which falls into a nice position. If, however, my trail arm, what we call internally rotates, that will cause the golf club to steepen and it will appear that I am coming over the top. So in this case, it would be the trail elbow. A great little checkpoint you can have here is from the front on view to see whether your trail elbow is lower than your lead elbow, which we tend to like to see, or whether your trail elbow is 
higher than your lead elbow. Again, this will be what we term as internal rotation. Club steepens, and you can see how from the face on camera, that's a very, very different look to my arm position. So over the top move, we would like to get rid of it from your game because it will generally give you slices, fades, weak shots, glancing blows. If we can fix that, we should be able to pick up distance. We should be able to control the curve a little bit more. You just need to establish whether you're swinging over the top due to an open club face, a poor body pivot, or an internally rotating trail arm. Hopefully, if you can find the source, you can find the fix, and you can hit some more fairways. Right, let's hit one down. This is the ninth hole at Las Colinas. Par four, a little bit into the breeze. Let's see if I can find that fairway. Okay, and I would definitely have that should be on the right half of the fairway. So huge thanks to Las Colinas for hosting me for a few days. Course looks absolutely fantastic in immaculate condition. If you ever get the chance to visit, I would highly recommend it. The course is absolutely fantastic. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Comments box down below, there's a like button. You can also click the link over here. I would love you to be a free subscriber of my channel, hopefully helping you play some better golf. It just means that you won't miss any of the new content. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.